That is a, a lot of bends. Who actually tested that? Honest thoughts and opinions based on my initial experience with using it. All of them have died. <laughs> Hey team, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayden. We got something a little different today. We've been kind of recently dabbling in the world of electronics and today is no different. However, it is slightly different in a sense that it's not specifically an electronic device, but more an accessory. And we might as well just dive straight on in. A representative of the brand Tough On reached out to me via my email and asked if I'd be interested in trying out their power bank, which is what we're doing today. As someone who spends a bit of time on social media, and if you aren't aware, I am a group fitness instructor in one of my other roles throughout the week. I use a lot of devices to learn, relearn, listen to music, go over choreography, all of that. To have a power bank that isn't bulky or has very little capacity and be able to move around with it would be ideal for me. So of course I jumped at the opportunity. What we are looking at today, and I've got it open here, is the Tough On 65 watt 2000 mAh power bank with built-in USB-C cable, which retails for $79.99 Australian dollars, and I will do the conversion. Even though I did not pay for the power bank myself and it was sent my way, I'm still gonna give it my honest thoughts and opinions based on my initial experience with using it. In the description on the website, and I do have it in hand, it's right over here, it did not take long for it to be delivered from point of receiving shipping information to in hand, it was around a week and a half. Description on the website, integrated USB-C cable, charge your phones, tablets, and laptops with ease using the built-in USB-C cable, whether you're at home, in the office, or on the go, this all-in-one power solution keeps you covered. It's designed for laptops. It's got the portable charger, 65 watt, perfect for business trips and travel. Can juice up a MacBook Pro 14 to 50% in just 30 minutes. It's got 65 watt bi-directional charging. Get your power bank back to full charge in just 1.8 hours with the input. It has 20. 20,000 mAh for extended use. It is also approved for airline travel, so you can take it on that plane with you. It's built to last, charges fast. The durable US USB-C cable withstands over 10,000 bends. That is a, a lot of bends. Who actually tested that? It withstands over 10,000 bends, offering dependable charging and easy storage, so you're always ready to go. The connector type is USB-C. The brand is tough on. Uh, what's included within the box? A Tough on two in one power bank, the USB C charging cable, 12 month warranty, and a friendly customer service. Here it is. Here, there is significant amount of weight for such a little box here, so I'm hoping that means it's quality. Yeah, every single power bank, portable power bank that I've owned in my adult life, all of them have died. So, this couldn't have come at a better time as we gear up getting ready to travel. Really secured that box. Within the box, we had the voucher. We have the device itself in bubble wrap, and then a little pamphlet. The power bank. I like the packaging. It's nice, smooth, matte cardboard. It's really quite weighty. You can see it comes in a soft. It's kind of velvety plastic. Protective coating. We just slide that out. Here is the device itself. It's got a little LED screen. Peel off that protective film. You can see the screen here. And this is the charging cable, which just comes on through. It kind of feels like elastic material. I like the feeling of the power bank itself. It's a very velvety soft plastic. Also within, we have the charging cable to repower the power bank and the manual. Look, there's two books. We got a user manual and a user manual. So we got two user manuals. There is nothing else in here. Let me just open one up to see if there's any difference. Now I am hoping, I haven't actually checked yet. I am hoping because I have an iPhone 14. This is a USB-C. I'm going to need a different adapter and hopefully it does have the option. It does. On the side of it, you can see We've got two separate options here. So that would definitely work for me. On top of the device, we have a button, circular button, which by pressing it turns it on. It says it's got 82% charge in here. 
ready to go. The manual itself, pretty straightforward. I mean, there's not a lot to a power bank in terms of operation. We've got the two output options and then an input option to recharge, the attached cord and then the power button. Let's put this to the test. We're gonna try charging my iPhone and see if it comes on straight away and how quickly it charges. Goes straight in. As you plug it in, the little LED light lights up. And because I do have an iPhone 14, I'm gonna need this kind of adapter. And there we go, you can see it's charging. I've got 85% on here. You see up the top, 85%. We're gonna leave that for a little bit and we'll see how fast it takes to charge. It's currently 1.15 p.m. and we'll do a little time lapse. All right, well, it's 2.19 and it's still not charged. It is at 98% at the top. I'd say another 10 minutes and it may potentially be done, but that's a considerable amount of time for 15%. Whether or not that's because I wasn't able to use the fast charging cable, which is the USB-C, however, which obviously doesn't work with an iPhone 14. But that being said, it only took a small amount of percentage off the actual power bank. I can see this coming in handy as we get closer to the holiday period and Adam and I start traveling a bit more, going to see family interstate, overseas, all of that stuff. So it's definitely something that's gonna be used. I will link everything down below if you wanna check it out for yourself. And always remember, if you do check out things, let me know your experience. Is it the same? Is it different? Is it better? I'm curious to know. Thanks for watching team. Make sure we do all the fun stuff, but most importantly, stay tuned.